Well, the heat is on, as they say, here in the month of July. The high heat certainly didn't stop with the fireworks on the 4th of July. We're continuing that trend. Let's take a look at what we're seeing with your RV World Yuma Skycam. Just a clear expanse, yeah, a clear view from the Yuma perspective. And of course, as far as what we're seeing with your West Coast satellite radar, all is quiet. There's a little bit of static between Phoenix and Tucson. That's all it is. No storm activity whatsoever. You got to go over to New Mexico to see any of that. In the meantime, wind speeds. Not all that, I mean, it was a little bit earlier this afternoon, but the winds have quieted as we get on into the early evening hours and not much gusto to go around either. I mean, we got, if anything, Blythe getting the lion's share of it, close to 30 mile per hour wind gust up along Interstate 10. But of course, all the noise being made in the heat department, we're talking about 110 to 112 degrees just in the Imperial Valley alone. We go further to the east in the Yuma area, and you can see 113s from Welton all the way over to Dayton. Very high temperatures again compared to what we had just last week. All right, here's what we're expecting with high pressure continuing to rule the roofs. This is the source of our high heat and the heat not letting up because this guy is going nowhere. And if anything, uh, he'll bring in some uh, intermittent showers and thunderstorms in the four corners, but certainly nowhere near here, at least not yet. Your future dew points, we start to go up a little bit and then we fade it out a little bit. So we're starting to see a little bit of action in that particular regard as far as those numbers are concerned. But again, nothing to be concerned about as far as any sort of showers or thunderstorms anytime soon. I know many of you are hoping for that to happen sooner rather than later. Your Metrocast, 91 degrees by midnight, will be in around the 82 degree mark as we get on into the wee hours in the morning and then we should get up to easily surpass that triple digit mark by noontime. And of course for your Curtin's extended forecast, it's a read them and wow kind of moment. I mean, not so wow if you've been here long enough, but you know what I mean? It's pretty high in the temperature realm up to 114 in Yuma. We could get up to 115 degrees just in the Imperial Valley as well. And you can see the one teens pretty dominant uh, throughout much of this forecast overnights. Look at that. Even in the Imperial Valley getting up into the, the low to mid 80s for the near future. So we are definitely going to be talking about some high heat as we continue to progress into the month of July.